I have no motivation to do anything. Okay, so there's four days until Puerto Rico. So there's a lot of stuff that I need to get done around the house to make sure I leave it in good condition for Tommy. So the first thing that I have to do is I have to do the six loads of laundry that have been waiting for me for the past week and a half. I have this pile to do and then I have this pile to do. So I think I'm gonna do the towels first to get those out of the way because they're the bigger items and then go from there. Oh, and this pile, but we had to take out of the dryer. So it probably needs to be washed again. The kids have finally fallen asleep and I think it's time for me to take a nap too. Melina has been waking up every hour just for me to put the bubble bag in her mouth. So yeah, I'm gonna take a nap and then we'll resume cleaning. All right, I'm up you guys, back to cleaning. <laughs> really? Hey guys, good morning. So Monday felt like, I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with me. I felt so, like I had no energy to do anything. So literally all that I got done yesterday was the six loads of laundry that I had to do, which is still a lot, but I managed to put away half of them. So I have three more loads of laundry that I have to put away. So I'm gonna try to do that now because today I wanna focus on packing. My friend had given me this uh, baby bag but this baby bag is big enough for me to fit my laptop in it. So I'm gonna use this one for me. She's gonna give me another one to use for the baby. one swimsuit um oh my gosh this kid so because tommy has so much stuff he takes up the whole other closet our main closet so i use the office room closet as my closet so i'm gonna bring this dress with me the one that i wore for my cousin's baby shower and then there was a couple more. I might have already packed them away, so I'm gonna have to find them. So luckily, my headphones came with like a little clip. So I'll be able to clip them on the bag instead of having to store them inside. And then I have to be able to fit my laptop with the charger, of course, and then my external hard drive. Let's go over everything that I'm going to pack. So outfit number one, cute little bodycon dress. I'm basically gonna be wearing dresses the entire time that I'm there. Okay, so next is this dress, which you guys probably remember from my cousin's baby shower. I only wore it that day. Pew comfy, a little loose. The next outfit is this outfit. If you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen it, but it's been a while since I wore it. I wore it in the summer for my brother's graduation party. It's nude, super cute, very stretchy, but I love this color. I love how it fits. The next outfit is this outfit. I can't go wrong with a black dress, simple bodycon black dress. I have two more outfits, so let's go to the next one. This next one is a go-to of mine. I'm gonna bring a couple of my loose shirts. Um, this probably this one. Seriously, but that's it guys. I'm only going for five days. I picked up the bag from my friend's house. It's super cute, perfect size. This is all that I have going on right now to put in there, but that's because Lena has her random blowouts or she uh, slobbers way too much and it gets wet. And I have to basically change her out of clothes like five, six times a day. But I know my aunt over there has a wash and dryer so I could just wash it over there. Look how cute this is. And then she was supposed to wear this for Thanksgiving, but I ended up putting something else on her. Maybe we could take some cute pictures or something. You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you, something about you Okay, I so like. we literally only filled up half of the bag. He normally wears that like sumo wrestler type of thing that you guys seen, but I'm thinking of just taking the nested sleep sack instead since she might be sleeping with me. I'm gonna take like seven diapers. I'm gonna put a brand new pack of wipes. Missing a lot of toiletries, but here is my face lotion, my shampoo and conditioner. This is Melena's leave-in conditioner. I need a little deodorant. I need a little baby powder, toothbrush. Missing a lot of like little stuff, so I'm gonna have to go to Walmart. That's basically all that I can get done today because I'm missing those little things. Tommy is gonna be at work late and I have to be at work in a few hours. I'm gonna get started on dinner, so I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. It is Wednesday. Oops. I just got done taking a shower. It is about one o'clock. Ezekiel is in his room right now. I'm trying to put him to sleep because I need like a good two, three hours where I'm not 
chasing him around so what i need to do today for the trip is i am preparing the pantry for tommy for the weekend so i ended up doing a walmart order so yes i ordered a bunch of stuff that is super easy that tommy can make he's still gonna probably end up ordering out at least once a day and that's fine but i'm gonna stock them up i'm gonna organize it okay so we're gonna take a short break from packing <laughs> and we came to denver mall look at us look at us rolling with these kids you got my two kids right here and then we got two more kids over there. You guys don't want to say hi to my friends? Okay, so we just got home from the mall and I quickly ran to Walmart to go grab stuff. But this is what I meant to keep to try to organize the pantry for them. So literally like Tommy snacks, Ezzy snacks, a bunch of granola bars, applesauce, pudding, whatever. The already like separated oatmeal thing so he doesn't even have to worry about washing a plate. Um, excuse me, baby. Cup noodles, big old goldfish, his mac and cheese here. They both love just munching on crackers. That's like Tommy's favorite snack. Bagels for breakfast. Breakfast for Tommy, I got him these so he doesn't even have to worry about washing anything. He just crack an egg in here and throw it in the microwave. I got him some of these. I refilled Ezzy's yogurts and cheeses over here. And then in the freezer, I got him more of these ravioli things. Then some meatballs, which is like a quick dinner. Personal size pizzas. And then got him a Red Bull and some more eggs. So he should be set. Good morning, it is Thursday. And I woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go today to get COVID tested because I don't wanna wait until tomorrow and then something happens, they can't take me for whatever reason. I was like, you know what? Let me just give myself at least two days of leeway time. They they require you to get it done three days before your flight and I leave tomorrow night. So today should be fine. My grandmother is staying with the kids while I go. I'm really hoping it is as easy as everyone's saying it is for the instant test. I'm chilling at my grandma's house because there is 13 people still in front of me. There was 22 people when I got there and now there's 13 people. So we're making progress, but it's been over an hour and a half now. So I'm here waiting. I refreshed the page and now there's only two people in front of me. I really wanted to get a haircut before tomorrow, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So I guess I'm just gonna have my long hair for Federico. I'm gonna try to get my nails done tomorrow. I just shared with you guys on Instagram that Tommy upgraded my ring. So my nails are busted, sorry. I've been stalking this ring for a whole year. This ring is a moissanite gemstone. Basically like the top lap created gemstone, but it's so much cheaper than a diamond, but it's just as pretty and it's still worth, it's still, it's still pretty expensive. But I waited over a year and a half for it to go on sale. Like the cheapest that ever goes on sale is on Black Friday. So we finally were able to get it this time. This is my Christmas present slash wedding anniversary. It's so pretty you guys, oh my God, so cute. So she said she's gonna come out to the car to swab me because they don't have any more rooms. <laughs> Can you verify your date of birth for me? Yeah, it's just crazy in here. Oh my gosh, I know. Uh, is it like this day. every day? Yeah. Wow. All right. Nope. Oh, my hair is blown. And then once your test is done, I'll go ahead and bring your your test results back out to you, okay? Okay, perfect. How long does it normally take? 15, 20 minutes. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you. <coughs> Bro, that always gets me. I think I've gotten tested like three times. It's negative. I'm going to Puerto Rico, you guys. This had me stressed out all week. I'm not even gonna lie. So one more thing I wanted to do before going to Puerto Rico was to set up the little Christmas thing for Araya. There she is. Someone must have come down and cleaned her. It's normally a lot dirtier than this. So thank you to whoever it was who came and cleaned her stone off. I felt bad that I didn't do anything for her birthday on her grave. So for Christmas, I figured I would bring a cute little tree and a box. And everybody can just come and put ornaments inside of the tree whatever ornaments you want and just make it super creative and you know just a little Araya's Christmas tree. All right so her tree is officially up so any friends or family that wanted to come and add a cute little ornament to her tree you're more than welcome to. Okay so the last thing that I wanted to do today was I picked up a bunch of these really big Ziploc bags and I want to put all of my clothes in there like individual bags so that way when we go through security 
and I have to take out my laptop, my headphones, you know, all the electronics or whatever. My stuff isn't falling all over the place. And I'm gonna do the same thing for her baby clothes. for today i feel like i have so much more space and my laptop will go back here and then in hers i feel like i have a lot of space too everything is like super tight but all i'm missing is her bottles formula and like her sound machine just stuff that we are currently using i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow good morning it's officially friday tonight is when we go to puerto rico do i look different i just lost like 50 pounds of hair on my face i hadn't got my eyebrows done in a year like that's so embarrassing i've just been kind of like trimming them here and there they it's i've been looking rough okay and i know i've been looking rough but i finally went and got my eyebrows and i found somebody here local she killed it i feel like a brand new person but i was gonna go get my nails done next the nail salon that i usually go to is still closed they don't open until 10 and it is 9 20 so i'm just gonna go back to my mom's house hang out with the kids for a little bit and then just drive back and then hopefully they can get me in as soon as they open I'm back home next thing is i'm gonna do my hair and then i'm gonna finish packing oh my god i never get nails this long <laughs> but whatever i wanted to do white for puerto rico oh uh, it looks so weird sorry if it looks weird anyways our bottles formula and all my video equipment the next stop is the airport <laughs>